Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you are well. Welcome back to another series, a brand new series of Crusader Kings 2. I had so many requests for this to come back, so I thought, well, I've got to do it. Um, but I didn't want to do as East Anglia. We are going to stay over here, though. We are going to stay in Great Britain, because I know more about over uh, the United Kingdom and England over here than I do anywhere else in Europe. So we're going to stay over here, but we are going to do a different starting location. We're going to go back to the early Middle Ages, the 769. So the early Middle Ages started with the fall of the Western Roman Empire um, in the early 5th century. Uh, and the earlier part of this era saw the great genomic and Slavic migrations across Europe. We read all this last time, so I'm not going to read it again for you. Uh, but if you want to, have a little pause and read that, because it is going to tell you the sort of stuff that's going to happen if you've not seen this series before. Basically, the Vikings are coming. Uh, let's go to a custom game setup. We're actually going to go to over here, to England. We're not going to Scotland, because I know very little about Scotland, but we are going to go to Wessex. Okay, the petty kingdom of Wessex, in fact. We are going to edit um, our little man up here. And I've already got some numbers written down for things, as I did last time, just to speed this up. So that's 9... 9... 1... Oh, that's right already. 6... Neck at 3... Cheeks at 4... Is um, can be one. I'm gonna make them two actually. This is a bit big. Um, eyes are three. The colour's blue. Hairstyle is gonna be ten. Uh, hair colour is going to be five. We're gonna have a little red head going on here. And beard is gonna be a three. And we're gonna take off. Actually, he's closed. I don't think this matters, because I think this changes anyway as we go. But we're going to get rid of that altogether. So there he is. There's the dude. Uh, let's go to our coat of arms. Now, this particular coat of arms, I can't... I don't know why this... Uh, so Icing is absolutely... Or Kod Icing is absolutely the family name for Wessex. But I don't know where this has come from. This seems something that I've certainly never seen before. So I'm instead going to do um, a plane. Uh, we're going to take this to 142. Four, three, two. There we go. Uh, and we're going to have this a two, an eight, and a four. And the wyvern, or the dragon, I think this is probably a dragon rather than a wyvern, but uh, that would be the symbol of Essex, or has been associated with Wessex for some time. It's not very clear how far back it goes, but it's certainly part of Wessex's culture at the moment. So we're going to use that as our particular shield and our attributes our name i'm going to call myself let's have a look at some randoms utrad wolfhelm athelwine i quite like athelwine dynasty i want to be still of the sedicing because they were the family sedicing flame i don't know whether i'm saying that right incidentally uh sedicing that's correct not married no culture no 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 now King Alpha one of Essex. He's 16 at the moment. Obviously, and if you remember going back to this, we can change and amend some of these. I'm going to pick um, that he's going to be a... Which one that's the best? Fortune Builder or Stewardship Plus 3? I'm going to put him as a Fortune Builder. That takes him to 25. That's pretty okay, actually. That's pretty reasonable. I am going to add a couple of traits. I'm going to make him wounded. But to offset that, because it's all about balancing, to offset that, I'm probably going to make him... Um, quick. Close. 29. That's a good age to start off with. Needs to get married straight away. You can see these are the results. So our stewardship is quite high. Health is pretty good. Our fertility is very good. We have no sons. I think... We are Athel Wine Sedicing. Good to go. In Wessex, let's play. <clears throat> now, as if, if you remember watching this series the first time around, you'll know that I'll change a few things. And what I wanted to do is, as we take over bits of land, is just to talk a little bit about what they were like back in the day as well. Um, I'm not a history teacher, and I'm not always 100% accurate, but I'm going to do my best to try and make this as sort of... Um, accurate as they possibly can be but this is sort of a representation of where Wessex was it's not exact let's have a look here firstly just to say about this particular um, crest which always makes me smile this is actually I think 
memory serves, is the uh, crest of Edward the Confessor, um, who actually um, won't be around, I think, well, he died in 1066, so this crest is at least, you know, 250-odd years before he was even here. Um, but these arms were probably even granted to him until at least the, the 12th or 13th century. So these are just, you know, again... They're taking some artistic license, and why not? I think it's a good idea. So, the capital is Winchester, which is correct. It would have been Winchester, but it probably wouldn't have been called Winchester. In fact, it absolutely wouldn't have been called Winchester. It would have been called Wintancester, or Wintancester. Wintan... Uh, C-E-A-S-T-R-E. Lovely. So there we go. We've now got our capital at Winchester, which is correct. This is an, and I, this did make me smile when I saw this. The Bishopric of St. Swithin. Um, can I turn off that music? Let's just... Because I reckon that... Like, where's the game options? Where's my music? Audio. Master volume. Uh, well, master volume can be reasonably high. Music can be off. There we go. Um... Now, St. Swithin's, this is hilarious. Now, St. Swithin was a person, he was a bishop actually in Winchester or in, or in the in Wessex area, um, but he didn't die until at least 850, at least 862, I think. So, another 100 years before he's even dead. So, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be a bishopric of St. Swithin, not yet, uh, and I don't think there ever was. So, instead, I'm going to call this Winchester. Now, I know I've just changed the other one, but I want to be able to, to differentiate between the two. Um, so, Win oh, what's the H uh, Winchester. So that is the Bishopric of Winchester, who is pretty important, actually, in terms of bishops at this time. The Bishop of Winchester still is. In actual fact, I think he's probably now the third or fourth most important bishop in the Church of England's um, uh, diocese, I think. Now, Southampton wasn't called Southampton then. It was called Hamwick. So we're going to change that, but we are going to keep it at least. There we go. There's Hamwick. We've also got the county of Wiltshire. Uh, Wilton, absolutely correct. Probably was the capital. Um, but was actually called Witton. W-I-T-U-N. There we go. Uh, the Bishopric of Salisbury. Um, we're going to call instead uh, Ramsbury, which would be better. And the city of Saron we're going to keep, actually, which is just outside of Salisbury. Um, it's like a fortified castle, so that actually works reasonably all right. So we're going to we'll leave that one alone. Dorset, next door, Wareham. That's an interesting one, uh, the capital. But, yeah, we'll probably keep that. Uh, but we'll call that Wareham. We'll spell out how it was properly spelled. E R Wareham. We've got the Bishopric of Corfe. Now I don't know how that's pronounced, but it's not what I'm going to keep it as either. I'm going to change it to Sherborne because that would be better. So the Bishopric of Sherborne and the city of Dorchester is um, probably correct, but not spelt that way. Um, it would be Dawn. War A C E A S T E R. Dormer sister. Try saying that when you're drunk. And finally, Somerset Bath. Absolutely. Um, we can keep Bath, although we'll spell it B A. Now, it should be an O with two little dots, but I don't know how to do them. But we could use Baum, which is Bath, to all intents and purposes. The Bishopric of Wells, I'm going to leave alone, because that did exist. So it now is now known as the Bishop of Bath and Wells. Uh, but we'll leave Wells, that's fine. And Ilchester, um, we're going to keep, but we're going to call it, um, we're going to spell it Y L E. C E A S T E R. Now, if you're seeing this, is it E R or R E? I think it's that one, but we'll do E R. Uh, the reason you're seeing Chester or Chester a lot is to do with the fact that it's um, the old word for a walled town. Uh, and obviously, when the Romans left, they left a lot of walled towns. So things like Colchester, Dorchester, uh, Manchester, you know, these are all walled towns. Um, and the Y L E is just because it's on the River Yeo, but that's fine. So there we go. We have now managed to go through our whole kingdom and get ourselves in the sort of right place. We don't need to move the county capital, that's correct. Um, but what we are going to have to look for now is a wife. Search everywhere. We would like a lady. Prison, no, because it's going to be difficult to marry her if she's in prison. Uh, no, don't want her already married. I'm going to put any for there. I want her to be of my religion. I want her to be of my culture. I want her to be an adult and I want her to be in a great house. That gives me this little lady here. Um, who, let's have a look, her father is King Egbert of Kent, which is interesting, so she has a claim, she does have a claim on the Kingdom of Kent next door, 
That's an interesting. Let's have a look. She's wrathful, she's proud, she's brave. I give her that. Lustful and a flamboyant schemer. She's also 16. She's also the only one, really, that I can think of that's going to be within my within my remit. Let's see what happens. Arranged marriage between me and her. No, he says. He would prefer it matrilinearly. I would prefer it. So what if I send your father a gift? Send a gift. Now can I marry her? Arrange marriage. With me. Three, four. No, it's a shame really. It's to do, I think obviously it's almost certainly to do with um, the fact that we're obviously next door to each other. He he doesn't want too close a link, I think, um, here. But that's okay, we now need to find uh, somebody else. I can't send him any more, can I? No, I don't really want to either. So let's try and find somebody else. She's in Dunbar. Let's get some good stock then. If we can't get married into somewhere nice, we've got temperate, kind and chaste. She's 16. Does any of these have any really nice genetic traits we're looking for? The heart-shaped ones? Because they can be passed through your line. And you know what? There's not a single one amongst them. Oh, pause for a second please. Thank you. And you. So, there isn't a single genetic trait amongst them patient, charitable and kind. She's a courtier in Mercia. She's low born. What about just great houses then? Is there none? That's frustrating. In fact she's just been married off. Look, that was quick. No, it's still a no. Okay, so we need to marry somebody, so we're just going to marry somebody then. We're going to get a minus a minus problem here. Uh, no, I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take... We've got Derby, we've got Oxford. Now, I quite like the idea of Oxford. That's next door to us. Her father isn't listed because she's lowborn. I'm going to lose 200 straight off the bat. Burroughs Waru. Caught you in Wessex. She might be nicer. She's honest, temperate, kind. Okay, hold on. Arrange marriage. Cuthberg. Send. Cuthberg and King Athelwan have got married. Uh, no, we just want to gain some prestige back because we lost a load of prestige so they can keep their money. Right, this is the next thing we've got to do, remember. We have to set out our cabinet, if you like, our, uh, our uh, what do they call it, council. So let's look at a chancellor. We want the highest we can. So Cuthred, a courtier in Wessex, he's got one of uh, a diplomacy skill of 12, so he's a competent diplomat, so we'll take him. We need a marshal. Ermond, courtier of Wessex, we'll appoint him. A steward we've already got at, at 11. The Bishop of Winchester as a steward. He wants to become chaplain. And Mayor of um, Ilchester wants to be, but he has a really poor... It's actually a six. A poor administrator. Competent administrator. I'm going to pick this one. I'm also going to arrange a marriage for him quickly before he dies. I don't have anyone, sorry. Tough luck. Um, oops, back to here. Um, the spy master is my wife is better than he is, so she can be my spy master. I quite like that. Um, and Bishop Senwolf of Sherborne is the best. But I'm going to put him in because he wants to be in it. It just helps them like me a bit more. So, we've now got all of those in. Um, uh, she is forbidden to lead armies. Chancellor, actually, do you know what? He's not. You are. 
and you are. So these are forbidden to lead armies. That just means they won't be part of any troops that are raised, which means I can't lose control at any point. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate some claims because I want to start making some inroads and pushing out. I'm going to put him in Sussex to try and make a fake claim over Sussex so I can claim that back. Mersh uh, Marshal Elmond, I want you to research military tech in Wessex. Steward, I want you to collect taxes in Wessex. Spymaster, I want you to study technology and I'd rather you didn't go away actually because you're my wife. So I want you to um, build a spy network in Wessex. What does that do? Vicious rumours spread. Oh, I see, so it can make people like, okay. And the court chaplain, I want you to research cultural tech in Wessex as well. They're all in Wessex doing what they need to do. They are done. Can we get going? Let's put that up. Now, my dement size, which is the number of realms I hold, is actually four, and I can only hold three, which is a problem. Uh, the other thing I want to do, let's go to laws, and first thing I'm going to do is make centralisation low. That's going to increase that dement size. Does that not work? There we go. Technology-wise, we've got nothing to update. We simply don't have the points yet. The first points are not going to be coming along until um, 59. So we've got ages to go until we get anywhere near that. Militarily speaking, we have uh, levies of about 870, to be honest. I don't think that's going to be about 1,000. We don't control all of the hearts and minds of all of these vassals yet either, and we need to. So that's not happening. Now we could borrow a crap load of money straight from the Jews and then expel them, which sounds a terrible thing to do, but it, it does get you almost free cash, um, and they will be gone, but then equally, um, I'd rather not do that unless I really need to at the moment, we'll just build money the normal way. There are no factions yet, and religion-wise, Pope Stephanus III um, is the Pope, and this is his Cardinal Conclave, of whom our best effort to get there would be Sigbert, but unfortunately he's well below and I don't have the funds to to sort of support him so he's not going to get there these are uh, we're now going to choose which way we want to go I'm going to go for rulership I think select which is going to increase we have a request from the king of Pickland by the look of it and uh, Le commander of Pickland yeah I accept that that's fine now let's have a look at our vassals and see who we've got these are our vassals and you can see here the, the bishops have either loyal to the Pope or loyal to me if they're loyal to me and not to the Pope, I will get their money and their men. But at the moment, these are all very loyal to the Pope and not so loyal to me. This will build over time because, essentially, um, as you sort of get in reign longer, I suppose, they sort of tend to like you more. I've got a horrible hat on. I wish I didn't have that hat on. Can I not take that hat off? Apparently not. That's a shame. Okay, one of the Cardinals has died. That's very sad. My first ambition is to have a son. That's what we want to do. Let's get a son, let's get an heir, because at the moment, Seinhaus Stigbister Hudson is heir to the Kingdom of Wessex. He has no reason to be heir, other than the fact, I think, that he's my Chancellor. Or Steward, I mean. Hmm. Looks at some minor titles, though. So these are some of the minor titles. Region, I'm going to put my wife as Regent, if I can. So Queen is going to be Regent, if I die. Um, Master of the Horse will be my steward normally which is him master of the hunt I would normally put as my um, where is he marshal but I can't see him here he is marshal of Wessex he's master of the hunt yes she's pregnant this is good news uh, high almoner and the high almoners were part of holding uh, handing out arms at religious ceremonies so I'm actually gonna make that um, one of my bishops I think Bishop of Sherborne, yeah. And the cup bearer. Poison is always a danger, so being entrusted. <laughs> okay, so that's my um, court chaplain, I think. He should have the faith of God that he won't die. So there we go, we've now put lots of people in all their necessary slots. And that just gives them all a little bit more of a pleasing disposition towards me. Money-wise, we're getting about three in a turn, which is perfectly good. Uh, in fact, I'm actually going to go to Wessex straight away and see what we can do here. I want to increase um, Castle Walls, which increases tax income, increases the size of the number of armies we can hold here, and increases the fort protection level to three and a half. So that's already now being built. 
here at Winchester. Or Winchester. Good. So that's all running. We've got some messages that have come in. Kingdom of Pickland. That's fine. That should have gone up. Did that not happen? These are all supporters. That hasn't been passed yet, that's what we're waiting for. So we're still waiting for that to go through, which is annoying. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. So he's percentage chance. He has an 8% chance to fabricate a claim in Sussex. It's not very high, um, but it's there's only one county. Now I don't know who they're allied with, let's have a look. Uh, this is Earl Orsmond of Essex. He has no sons or daughters. He's only 29. His wife is 16, so they're probably in the in the basis of having a child as we speak. He is the heir, but only just. Now I wonder if I plot to have her killed, or him killed. Do you have children? He has no real claim to it whatsoever. Now, I will do an intrigue here to show you, so let's kill him in Sussex. What we can do is we can automatically invite and we can have a look. Now these are the people who are on the edge, and the people who would say no. And you can see here, she wants him dead, it should give you 15% support, and, and he, she, she, she also would be, mm, not too bad, that would give her a 25% chance. None of these are yeses of course, the highest one is the steward. He doesn't want him dead yet either. Um, and of course we can't sort of just give out gifts to them yet, but that's how you would automatically do it. It has a 43% chance only. If I go to here though, and I go to scheme, um, mm, which one is it? Is it build network? plot power increases by 6.5%. Doesn't matter where I put it though, I assume. So actually, that just increases it generally by 6.5%. That should be fine. Close. Oh, I have a new son! You have a new heir. If your character now you will now play as Ail Elthwithson Winson. Okay. I've got that ambition. Now, are we going to call him that? Um, I like that though. Athelstan. There we go. New ambition for us now, I think, is probably to have a daughter. But there he is, Athelstan. Let's have a look and see his traits. He doesn't have any of the um, genetic traits of his father, so he didn't. He didn't get the quick, which was a shame. Uh, wounded is still obviously happening, but that's fine sure that will heal itself eventually. Yes, so Prince Athelstan, although he's not a prince yet because he's really just a, an overglorified duke. This is a petty kingdom after all, not a real kingdom. Features. Oh, I see. Okay. Good. So that's going on. So we're now 1770. No messages have come through. Building in Winchester. Is that finished? It has not. Being built at the moment. But again, the reason to do that is it boosts taxes whilst increasing defence. So it does a bit of both, which I quite like the idea of. Let's get rid of that. We could borrow from the Jews. I'm in the process, I think, of doing that. And then just hitting it and saying, there we go, done. Do, 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 do I do it? I think I do. Intrigue. So I'm going to borrow the money. And I'm going to expel them. Oh, I can't yet. What do I need to do that? Is it because I don't have the... That's annoying. My liege, my work in Sussex seems to have come to fruition. By bribery and controlling, extorting, threatening and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Sussex, presently held by Earl Osmond of Sussex. I give it up to you whether to use it or not. Damn right I'm going to use it. So, we now have a claim in Sussex, so I think straight off the bat I'm going to go to war. Has he had any sons? He has not. I'm going to declare war. I'm going to claim Sussex. Go. I've paused the game just for a second. Militarily, I'm going to raise my vassals. Here we go. And they're going to come together here in Wessex. Get, pull, pull them all together. 
and then we're going to have a go. He's leaving for some reason. Where he's going? Okay, let's combine these troops together. He's leaving Sussex, which I find strange. Is he coming to me? I might stop here for a second. See if we can't get him in Oxford. See, this is clever. The computer wants to take over Winchester. Um, and it's having troubles doing so. But we're going to have a battle in London, by the look of it. Let's see how we get on here. Go! Now, we need to win all of these battles. We can't lose any of these. Okie okay, dokie. So we've just won that. We're now down in the bottom here. You can see we've got a 74% chance that he will submit um, to my um, control. But we'll see how many troops we need to... We have enough to actively siege here in Arundel, which is the capital of Sussex at the moment. They don't have any children. He has one claim only. So we'll let, we'll let that run. We'll let that do its thing. And I am going to now move, though, my... Fabricate claims from here. I'm going to move him to Surrey. Food and supplies have been smuggled to Arundel. That's a shame. Increasing castle walls have now been built in Winchester. That's good. We might want to build some more things whilst we can, although I'm looking in case I need to hire a mercenary army. So I'm going to hold off doing that for a second. We shouldn't need to at the moment, um, but we'll see how long it takes to siege that down. Whilst that's happening, as always, let's go and have a little look at what's happening in our court. Strong claim on the county of Sussex. Uh, this law has still not been passed. Supporters and three votes. I'm going to need to give gifts, I think, to these people. Send gift. Send gift. Send gift. I'm going to have to. And hopefully at some point that will start flipping around and changing, otherwise we're going to be stuck with it. They like me better. There's very few that don't. We'll let that run for now. Keep going. Yes, she's pregnant again. Now, hopefully that's a daughter. It would be very nice. Any of these need to be married? She'll do. Send. Seventy-four percent now. Peace be with you. I accept your suggestion. Good. So Arundel, yeah, getting there. We could rush this, but we're not going to accept. Oh, please don't die just yet. Stay with us. I need to get this claim done first before I die. That would be a frustrating start to the game, wouldn't it, just? Come on. Uh, we could speed this up a little bit, actually. Yay, I felt much better. <laughs> So Arundel's not quite fallen yet. Pope is dead. Nobody cares. It feels like everyone is trying to trump me. My huntsmen killed more prey than I. My councillors found a better solution to the rebellious peasants than mine. And I started to feel that everyone was better than me no matter what. If they're better than me, then I have to accept that. Kind. I'm going to keep that if I can. That's good. Simrod is no longer steward for King Athelwine. Why is he dead? Oh, okay, he died. Victory! Right, he's now at 100%. You see, I've paused that. He's now at 100%. Let's do this first. Let's print a new steward um, who needs to be good at, the, at this one here. So, the Bishop of Bath and Wales can have it back. Law-wise, 
doesn't appear to have changed. I'm going to cancel that. And now I'm going to try. And uh, we're going to do that and slow that back down to two. Come down to here. Off a piece. Enforce all my demands. Send. King Athelwine of Wessex has usurped the title County of Sussex from Osmond Hastings. The West Wessexian, Wessexian claim on Sussex War has ended. King Athelwine of Wessex won. So now we're going to disband those troops. And straight away we've managed to get a whole new county as part of our realms. Very quick off the block that. Really, really good news. Really good news. The old wound is finally healed. I'm now scarred. That's going to give me a little bit of prestige. Let's just pause this again for a second. This law is not going through. Oh, but we have got supporters now. So the mayor now supports it. This is... Yeah, I don't like this idea of them not supporting stuff that I'm doing. I find that very annoying. Kind. That's because of that. We can't expel that jury yet either, can we? Expel the jury? No. No. I haven't got a hundred prestige to lose, that's why I can't do it. So that's a bit of a pain in the backside. However, we are at least again making money, which is good. So we're going to leave that as is. I'm going to take that off now because he doesn't need to. Where is he now? He's out in hiding. He has a strong claim on the county of Sussex. Uh, he has. He's at Surrey. He's at Surrey. Go to location, explore character options. Yeah, he's not going to like me anyway. And I can't do anything with him because he's lowborn. Fair enough. Goodbye. Um, he's done for. We'll have his lands and we'll keep them ourselves. Um, let's just do something with um, here. Collect taxes in Somerset. Let's do over there and do that over there this time. Fantastic. Well, there we go, everybody. The first of our new Wessex-based... Um, Crusader Kings 2 uh, series started off and we've already taken somebody which, somewhere which is fantastic. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this. As I say, it's just a, a very similar run through to the way we did the first series only not starting in East Anglia really this time. Uh, when we come back I'll give you a little history about Sussex. We might change some of the place names over here as well, although that one's pretty good and that one's pretty good. Uh, but we'll just give you an update on some of those and make some of the changes over there. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this law through at some point which would be very, very useful um, because apparently we can't change any laws, nobody seems to care what we want, which is rather frustrating. Um, but until next time, for more Crusader Kings 2, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.